and welcome to SpinachTiger.com. Today we're going to get healthy and we're going to make a healthy pie crust from scratch using spelt flour. Spelt is a whole grain, it's an ancient grain and I have organic spelt flour for us to use today and it makes a very nutty, um, really tasty pie crust. It goes great with pies like pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, apple pie, so um, a pecan pie, although that wouldn't be super healthy, would it? So let's get started and I'm going to measure out my um, spelt flour. I'm going to use about two and a half cups. You can get the full recipe at spinachtiger.com with um, all the little tips and little, little tricks that I use for baking. And that's just about right. I actually pre-measured it. I know it's two and a half cups. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And to stay on the healthy side, I'm going to use coconut, flour, um, coconut sugar. And this is one tablespoon. Whoops. Now I'm going to take and mix this up really well. Now we want to make sure, since this is a whole grain, we still want to get a flaky pie crust. And I'm going to do something just a little unique to kind of help that along. You don't have to do this, it's an option, but I'm going to add a little bit of cream cheese to my ice cold butter. This has all been in the freezer, cut into small pieces, and we're going to count to 10. We're going to put this in the food processor. I'm going to put it on, oh, maybe halfway at two. two And that should give me the texture that I want. Little pieces still in there so it's all incorporated but not smeared through. So as that butter melts, you're going to have a flaky crust. Oh, now to that, I don't have to open that, we're going to add, oh, about six to, six to eight tablespoons of ice cold water. I'm going to take the ice out. I made sure that was really cold. See, I could already tell it was coming together, so I didn't need to use um, all of the water. I kind of wait until I get a texture. I get something that looks like that, and it's still really cold. And I can see all the little pieces of the cream cheese and the butter are still in these little pieces here, which is going to be awesome as, as that melts. Look at this. This is like a really nice dough for, for, for a heavy grain. Now you could mix half spelt flour and half all-purpose flour. You get, you know, it's still a little healthier, but I wanted to make this really friendly for people um, that are diabetic. There's a lot of people looking for desserts and I wanted to make it very, you know, diabetic friendly or people that are just into their super health. Now this is going to go into a plastic bag just like that. I didn't want my hands to touch it too much. This is going to go in the refrigerator minimum 30 minutes, but I usually do it a little longer. Now I have one ready and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you roll it out. Okay, I've taken out my other um, pie crust made with uh, butter and cream cheese. And like I said, you could just do butter. I've done that many, many times. And I'm gonna roll this out just to show you. Now you see it's darker. It's got a lot more flavor than a regular pie crust and it just goes so great with fall flavors but I also love it with berries and guess what I've made like spelt hand pies for kids and they eat it they don't even they don't even know that it's different but it has this really nutty taste so I'm gonna turn keep turning and rolling roll from the middle out I'm gonna roll into a circle I'm going to show you something I like to do 
to make this just a little special. Now I've prepared a sweet potato apple pie mixture that I'm just going to put in. Yours could be anything you want. That recipe for that apple sweet potato pie is on spinach tiger. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, look at that. That's a nice pie crust. I still think I can roll it out just a touch more. Okay. I'm going to put it into my pie pan. And then gently let it fall on the sides. Don't stretch it. That makes for, for, all, for also a tough pie crust. Okay. I've cut off a little bit, I've trimmed around, and I'm gonna fold this in. It's gonna be a little thicker for crimping. If you find some areas aren't thick enough for that, you can go ahead and put in a little more of your, of your pie dough. I'm gonna show you how to crimp the pie. So we take one finger and two fingers and you simply push and then follow the next indentation and push and push and push push now this goes just into the next indentation and push again next push push it's easy. There's many ways to make a pie pretty. I'm going to show you one more little trick that I like to do to make the pie pretty. Always go with your second fit, this index finger just goes into the next indentation. That's where I used to get confused. There we go. There, we've got it. We've got our nice little crimped pie crust. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this mixture, it's, it's cooked apples, roasted sweet potato, spices, like cinnamon, things like that. It's going to go into this pie crust. Now you might want to make a double crusted pie crust, which you can do. And um, I'm not going to do it for this. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to use this extra dough to make something decorative. I'm going to Cut out some leaves. I did some leaves and acorns because this is a fall pie. Uh, in you can use any kind of thing that you want. So it's cute to cut cut out the little leaves. You can even cut out little leaves and go all around your your pie. As, you're, as just something on the outside if you want. I think it's really cute when we do these on the inside. I'll do a few more acorns. You can put turkeys, hearts, whatever you want. It's just, it's really cute. And with the spelt, because it's dark, um, these, it goes really good in the um, fall motif. There's like a little leaf. That one didn't come out the way I like it. You can always just redo this one. You cut out and then you stamp. I think that's clever and cute. Okay, I think that's, that's kind of nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that in the oven. Oh, I might do one more. Now I like to do my pie crust on my marble table here. 
They have this marble counter. Um, if you don't have that, I suggest you get a roll pad. That will make your life so much easier. There we go. So we've got leaves and acorns. And I'll put this little leaf there too. We're gonna go put this in the oven. That's how you make spelt pie crust. So I hope that you will take the time to go over to spinachtiger.com. You'll get the full recipe with all of the ingredients exactly as you need them over there. Thank you for visiting the Spinach Tiger cooking channel. Real food for real people from scratch.